Over here, let's do another question. So I really like what you said about thinking about your brand, um, you know, in kind of a hundred year dimension, because, you know, it's fascinating because it's such an iconic brand. Um, but I don't know if it's just me, but when I think about someone who rides a Harley, it's, you know, it's usually a man and he's white and he's like in his 50s. And I was wondering, how do you guys think about um, the future and like what is Harley going to look like for the new de generation? Mm, so it's a great question. By the way, I'm 50 and I'm a man and my <laughs> wife. We have, a, we have a great time riding together. Um, and, and uh, you know, we, we've done a lot in the last six years on this um, very important long-term view. And, and I talked to some of the faculty today about, you know, we have, we have our core customers, which we define as white males. This is U.S. I'm talking about the U.S. market. White males 35 and, and over. Um, we have outreach segments that we have specifically said we want to grow with outreach segments. We want to grow with core, and we want to grow with outreach at a faster rate. We put that objective in place in 2009, and for the last four years, we have grown outreach at more than twice the rate of core. And I will tell you in 2009, when we put that objective on a piece of paper, we have four objectives. Everybody said, we, we can't do this. You know, how do we do this? And so providing that focus and the alignment, and then our company is wonderful when we have that and we commit and we decide we do amazing things, and we did. And we've grown with every one of the outreach segments at a faster rate than core. We've added distance and market share between our nearest competitors. And those outreach segments are women, African Americans, and Hispanics, 35 and up, and then Young adults, which is everybody, all ethnicities, genders, et cetera, 18 to 34. And we have a significant separation, the same separation with women as we have with core men, nine times our nearest competitor, eight, I think, with uh, Hispanics, seven with African Americans, and three times the market share of our nearest competitor with young adults. So then you, you sort of look at this young adult space, that's where the gap is the smallest. This to me, of all the outreach segments, is 10 times as important as the others because this is the incoming into the sport of motorcycling. 